Hello Horticos. Welcome back to our channel Horticos World. Friends, in this video let us try to remember the major points in horticulture which can be useful for your different competitive exams. And if you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe then click on bell icon for further updates regarding agri and horticulture. Now, let's get started. Fruits and vegetables are also recognized as protective foods. Vitamin B2 that is thymine, its deficiency leads to loss of sensitivity of skin, paralysis, enlargement of heart and loss of appetite. Then vitamin B2 that is riboflavin is required for the growth and health of the skin, abundantly present in pomegranate. Deficiency of phosphorus leads to bleeding of gums. Fruits and vegetables which contain CHOs are called as energy foods. Next, fruits and vegetables also supply roughages like cellulose and pectins which prevents constipation. Then, examples of palm fruits is apple, pears, quince, loquat. Evergreen fruits are mango, sapota, citrus, papaya, guava, litchi, sweet oranges, mangosteen, West Indian cherries. Next, droop fruits or also called as stone fruits are peach, plum, mango, bear, jamun. Small fruits examples are grape, raspberry, blackberry. Nut fruits are coconut, almond. And wine crops are grape, cucumber, pumpkin, squash. Coal crops like cabbage, cauliflower, nol coal, broccoli, brussels. Salad crops are lettuce, coriander. Examples for perennials are asparagus, drumstick. Green veggies are spinach, palak. What is arboriculture? Raising of perennial trees for shade, or avenue, is called as arboriculture. Examples are eucalyptus, cassiorina. Fruit technology is the processing and preservation of fruits. High temperature in tomato results in blossom and rot, in lettuce to burn and in onion bolting. More common form of killing microorganisms is by freezing, that is by intracellular ice formation. Root injury occurs when the soil temperature drops below 10 degrees C to 15 degrees C. Immaturity of the tissues is the chief factor associated with early winter injury. Plants which are unable to stand low temperature even for a single night are called tender plants. Then, unfavorable conditions within the plant leads to rest period. Unfavorable conditions in environment results in dormant period. The influence of light intensity affects on photosynthesis. As we know, blue light gives normal leaves and stunted stem growth. Blue light along with red involves in photosynthesis. Whereas red light involves in elongation of plant parts. And length of the day controls the time when protein synthesis takes place. Next, fruits that mature during rainy season contain less sugar and more acid. Citrus suffered in black cotton soils from dieback disease in Vodlapudi orange. Sandy loam soils of Telangana are chalk soils. PT soils are suited for growing spices and plantation crops. The beneficial effect of windbreak is seen when the distance is equal to three times of its height. And there should be a spacing of 12 meters between the row of windbreak and the first row of orchard. The angle between the branches and main trunk is known as crotch or crotch angle. Planting should be preferably done in the afternoon rather than in the mornings. Then, arrangement of plants in the orchard is known as layout. And tree grown at the center of the square is called as filler tree. Hexagonal or septule system is based on the equilateral triangles. This system accommodate about 15% more plants per unit area than the square system. Here, cultivation is possible in three directions. An inquinkum system, double the number of plants are accommodated when compared to the square system. 
the perpetuation of plants is called propagation before that it takes so much efforts for our team to present all the informative content which is useful for students who are preparing for competitive exams if you find this video useful then please subscribe our channel like and share with your friends let's continue viviparous seed is found in chow chow the resting period during which certain favorable physiological changes occur in seed after harvest to the embryo to germinate is called after ripening seed coats which is impermeable to water is seen in clover and alfa alfa seed coats which is impermeable to oxygen is seen in xanthium moist chilling temperature for stratification is 0 to 100 c nucellar embryony is found in citrus and polyembryony seen in jamun mango graftage is the art of joining to plant parts that is roots and stem and grafting is a piece of stem with more than one bud whereas budding is a single bud is used then swollen base of stem is comb and examples are colocasia banana shoot suckers are seen in banana and in pineapple suckers are lateral branches that develop root suckers are seen in guava curry leaf from the underground portion of the stem stolen is an aerial horizontally growing shoot which on contact with the soil strike roots examples just mean cynodon dactylon runner are seen in strawberry oxalis of certain agave pineapple water hyacinth crowns in pineapple bulbils in lilium aerial stem in bulblets slips are stem pieces with three to four nodes example chrysanthemum slips rootage or rooting in cuttings the roots are induced in the detached portion of plants whereas in layering roots are induced on plants parts when they are intact with the parent plants and a layered stem is known as layer types of layers are tip layering in strawberries simple layering in jasmine and compound layering philodendron in this branch is alternately covered and exposed along with its length then mound layering in guava so the best season to take cutting is from middle of july to middle of february in grafters the upper part is termed as scion and the lower part is termed as rootstock the rootstock is selected on the basis of the influence on the scion the shoots of mother tree from which the buds are used as scion material is known as bud wood. Top working is the practice of grafting on established trees which involves the removal of most of their branch system. It is done to rejuvenate old unproductive tree. A scion is grafted over the already grafted shoot is known as double working. It is done to temper the influence of the rootstock. Bridge grafting is a form of repair grafting and is used in cases in which the root system of the tree has not been damaged but where there is injury to the bark of the trunk. The influence of root stock is more in magnitude as compared to the influence of scion as stock. Precocity from planting to flowering period early bearing nature. Effect of root stock on the vigor of the scion on precocity on productivity and yield. The major influence of the scion on the root stock is on the vigor of the stock. Graft incompatibility examples are apple on pear, sweet orange on wood apple. Types of graft incompatibility. Translocated incompatibility. This due to the movement of toxic materials through phloem. This is cannot be overcome even by inserting an intermediate stock. And localized incompatibility. This may be due to repulsive action of stock and scion. This can be overcome by inserting an intermediate stock. Let us see about training. Training is a treatment given to the young plants to get a suitable or desirable shape and a strong framework. These are three types. Close centered system in which we observe strong crotches. Open center system, we have weak crotches and modified leader system it is practiced in citrus and is the best system 
In training, branches should arise on the main trunk alternately at intervals of at least 15 cm. And pruning, removal of unwanted, surplus annual growth, dead, dried and diseased wood of the plants is called as pruning. Fruits born on current flush are bay, falsa and grapes. And here are few methods of pruning. Thinning out is when a shoot is removed entirely from the inception. And when a branch is cut almost to the base, leaving a few inches at stump, carrying few buds, it is referred as heading back. In pollarding, mere cutting back of the shoots to reduce in the height of the tree is pollarding. Training means cutting the growth of the twig. Pinching or tipping is removal of the tip of the shoot, and this is practiced in marigold, chilies at the time of transplanting. Then, deblossoming is the removal of surplus flowers and is practiced in alternate bearers examples are mango, apple. In deciduous trees pruning can be done before the termination of dormancy. Whereas, in evergreen, pruning should be carried out just before the start of active growth or after the harvest of the crops. And, Trees on light soils flower earlier than those on heavy soils. An accumulation of carbohydrates is essential for flower formation. Bahal treatment is given to produce flowers. This is mainly practiced in citrus, santara, in Nagpur area and also in guava. In ringing, the bark is removed in the form of a ring from small branches. It is practiced in grape and deciduous fruits in Europe. Smudging is an oxidized hydrocarbons like acetylene and ethylene and often induce flower bud formation. It is a practice based on this principle. Variety Romani prefers Himayuddin poles. Waves of fruit drop are as follows. Post or setting drop, this drop is natural and beneficial to the plant. Summer or June drop is due to high temperature, shading or thinning helps the remaining fruits on the tree of increase in size. And then, pre-harvest drop, which cause heavy losses. Late rains may prolong the vegetative growth and also delay or reduce flowering, as in mango. It can be remedied by drying out the soil, by deep plowing and probably by artificial inhibition of growth by growth inhibitors. And next, the phenomenon in which an asexual reproduction process occur in place of the normal sexual reproduction is known as apomixis. A narrow crotch can be widened by pruning the branch to an outer bud. Light intensity refers to the concentration of light waves. And the quality of the light refers to the length of wave. The cold storage mature fruits are for waxing ripening and immature fruits are harvested for smoke ripening. Color of seeds is a guide of maturity in pears and also in certain apples. Penetrometer is used to measure firmness as an index of maturity. Acidity and astringency gradually disappear during the process of ripening. Aroma and taste together constitutes the flavor. The aroma is due to formation of Easter. During the time of ripening, the rate of respiration reaches peak and then decline. This peak is referred as climacteric. Examples are banana, mango. Then, avocado ripen only after harvest and also panchavana mango verity. Calcium carbide pellets placed for uniform yellow color development also causes loss brightness of color. Ethrel is the ripening hormone most commonly employed for artificial ripening of fruits. And, pre-cooling is done to make the fruits to acclimatize for the low in cold storage chamber. Brown heart occurs when carbon dioxide increases in the storage atmosphere. Hot dry wine at blossoming time prevents pollen germination. The fruits of sweet orange are juicy and thin-skinned, if so orange is used as a root stalk. Exposing of fruits to gamma ray is referred as irradiation. Toughening of the skin in citrus fruits for loss susceptibility to injury is called as quailing. 
The storage malady that occurs when immature fruits are stored in is called as browning. In bryophyllum, propagation is done through the leaf cutting. pH for horticultural crops is 6 to 7. And lastly, the plant with slender and succulent stems to support an exact position are vines. And dear friends, it takes so much efforts for our team to present all the informative content which is useful for students who are preparing for competitive exams. If you find this video informative then please subscribe our channel, like and share with your friends and any kind of suggestions are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and keep supporting us wait for more videos, till then take care.